Hey friends, welcome to the channel. This doesn't feel right, one second. All right, this seems more like it. Anyways guys, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and I'm here to give you my non-BS review for Barb and Star, Go to Vista Del Mar. I promise you guys I will not be doing that accent throughout the entire thing, I promise. But before this video gets started, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys love talking about movies, then definitely hit like and subscribe and go check out my partners at Movie Scene Canada. They've got a ton of contests on there and you could be the next lucky winner. So, I'm not gonna wear these sunglasses, f*** that. So, we have Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. I feel like I just need to have the accent whenever I say the title. But it's from the girls who brought you Bridesmaids. And I love Bridesmaids. It's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. And this movie is also hilarious. Now I understand that humor is completely subjective, so look at the trailer, if it's not your type of humor, then it might not be your type of movie. That just goes without saying. But this movie had me laughing so damn hard, more than any movie has in a very long time, at least with new releases of course. And what I like about it is that it's not just dumb gags, right? It's not like in Ghostbusters where there's a lot of fart jokes and just a lot of ad-libbing where they're talking about Oprah references and things like that. Sure, there's some dumb gags in here, but there's a lot of satire and irony and sight gags. Play on words, there's a lot of different types of humor in this movie and all of them land except for one plot element. And I won't give away the story too much because I think the best way to go into this movie is not knowing anything about the story. But there is a Dr. Evil type character, so much so that it's even played by Kristen Wiig, and there's this type of maniacal evil plan going on in the background. That side of the story was not very engaging, right? Even in Austin Powers, Dr. Evil was funny. We were actually looking forward to his scenes. Here, not so much. Kristen Wiig in that type of a role was not very funny, I wasn't laughing that loud, or that much to be honest with you, and I just didn't really care. It felt like a distraction whenever the real movie would be taking place in Visa Del Mar with Barb and Star. But it's not awful. It's just that the movie with Barb and Star in Visa Del Mar, <laughs> it's really hard not to say those words in that accent, but I digress. When the movie's over there, going towards the evil plan, it feels like, oh, well, I wanna go back here. And the number one reason for that is Kristen Wiig and Annie Mumolo. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name, but my God, is their chemistry just fantastic. As soon as they came on screen and started to talk with one another, I immediately got Wedding Crasher vibes, right? Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn have this amazing chemistry and they're just ad-libbing and playing off each other so well. These two were just like it. As soon as they came on screen, I felt my cheeks go, you know, I just started to smile. And I was smiling throughout the entire movie because their chemistry is just off the charts. It's so, so good. So you add in two amazing leads with unbelievable chemistry. Unbelievable chemistry. I can't say that enough. Unbelievable chemistry. Unbelievable chemistry. With absolutely wonderful writing with all different types of jokes throughout the entire comedy spectrum. And you give it this completely silly plot. Sure, it is a little distracting to go back to the evil plan, but this movie is completely wacky. The colors are completely saturated. They are the Brando Critic colors, which I really enjoyed. But, you know, there's musical numbers that come out of nowhere, and there's all these random gags that would not make any sense in like a normal comedy, but this is almost in like a fairy tale type of world where just random things can happen like that. And this is a vacation film, so again, it's quite cheap, right? It's kind of a cheap filmmaking tactic to have your film take place on vacation, so naturally when someone watches it, you're like, oh, I'm on vacation, I'm feeling good. Yeah, it's a cheap tactic, but it works. So I'm not giving the film brownie points for having the story take place on a vacation, but it does rub off on you when you're watching it, so I gotta mention it here. And overall, what a colorful, funny, fantastic movie. I'm giving Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar a four out of five. I really enjoyed it. This is the best comedy I've seen in years in terms of recent releases, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. But like I said, watch the trailer. Not every type of comedy is for everyone. But don't worry, not all the best jokes are in the trailer. They actually save quite a few of them, which I was very, very happy about. So what about you guys? What is the funniest movie you've ever seen in your entire life? I always change my answer with this one, but Hot Fuzz is always near the top. And if you have seen Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar, let me know what you thought down in the comment section down below. Let's get a discussion going, talking about this movie. I know I'll be down there, so hopefully you guys will be too. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos just like this one, then definitely hit like and subscribe. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go to the beach. Yes, it is February, it's in Vancouver, and it's minus 13 degrees Celsius. <sighs>
but I'm gonna go to the beach anyway. See you guys there.